welcome to fluid art by christine so i haven't um made a painting in a few days um so i am ready to paint today yay okay so my pouring medium today has been the same as the last number of videos um <clears throat> 12 ounces of glue wall six ounces of floetrol and um three ounces of gac 800 um, this is a 12 by 24 canvas and I'm going to be using three flip cup. I'm not going to do the drags down and the pouring medium to paint ratio is, uh, about one to four. Um, it's 40 grams of paint to 110 grams of pouring medium. So to get really specific, um, yeah, so got to, oh, I'm going to go ahead and move this canvas for now. I got to fill up these cups. <clears throat> I got to finish off <laughs> these, uh, all these blues. I'm doing, I've got blue on my mind. I want to do something like water and, um, my son is wanting one for his room. And so I'm going for it. This, um, is aqua green by artist loft and basics, uh, Philocyan blue. Artist Loft Turquoise and Artist Loft Ultramarine Blue. Um, I wanted to show you guys when I run out, I can cut these things in half and scrape out a whole lot of paint right there. So, um, yeah, you want to get every bit of that paint out of those tubes as you can. Okay, so here are my colors. And I've got two cups of white in case I need it. I'm not sure if I will, but I very possibly may need that. Um, and the, uh, the spot on treadmill belt lubricant is what I'm going to be using in each of the cups. Now these are fairly full. They're about a, a three quarters. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put um, three drops in each right now. I have to be really slow about it because otherwise I wind up getting more than I want. Okay. So I stir these very thoroughly. And I don't have the same experience. If I mix it too much, the cells wind up small. I don't have that experience with this pouring medium at all and this um, spot on. But I do notice the difference is the, centip uh, the centipedes. <laughs> the caterpillars, same thing. Centipedes, they kind of look centipedish. And I'm not putting it in the white. Get that a really good mix. Okay. And the white, that's nice and mixed up. Okay, let's get rocking. Get these right next to each other. Let's start with white. Now, I don't think I'm going to do a full on like sandwich pour like I did last time. I'm just going to go ahead and just do layers. I think I called it a triple decker. And uh, boy, did that one come out gorgeous. Oh, I just love that one. I call, It's the last video I did. It was called um, Pearl Be... Pearl Beach and I did the three cup flip cup as well with that one and wound up with this really pretty wave pattern So I'm just going to separate the four blues. I'm going to put two blues and then white and then two blues and then white and so on. 
So how are you guys doing? This is Saturday. Oops, I'm gonna do my white. And I've had a really, really nice day. Got a lot done. But like I said before, I haven't painted in a little while. Just life and busy and stuff like that. trying to plan a little summer vacation. Uh, my family likes to kind of pool our money together and there's quite a few of us, anywhere from 10 to 15 of us, that uh, my husband's family lives in North Carolina and get like a beach house or something like that. Or one time we got a cabin in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee and had lots of fun and lots of big dinners together and stuff. And um, we're thinking of doing that again this year. We ha I think we skipped a year. So I've been online <laughs> looking at vacation rentals and um, the one, we were looking at Wrightsville, North Carolina and they're all booked already. They're all booked. Unless I wasn't looking on the right website or something. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's February and they're booked for the um, end of June. Well, I guess it's normal, you know, people book their vacations. So I'm a little late on the draw to be planning my son apparently for that city. It's a beach town and you know, the the houses are right on the on the beach. So very sought after, first come, first cert, serve kind of thing. But we'll find something, whether we, we'll just move cities. I don't know, we'll figure something out. We went one year to Duck, North Carolina. It's really fun really great memories are made on those vacations. So as you can see, I decided to go, you know, dark blue, light blue uh, to get the contrast in the cells. We'll just see what happens. All right, that was super fast. So much faster when I just do three cups. I'm gonna get the canvas ready and I'm gonna make sure I hit my autofocus this time. <laughs> uh, I suffered through watching the last one when I realized that the autofocus wasn't on for the pour and the tilt, the most important part. So I was a little, a little upset about that. It's not gonna happen again this time. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. This is the fun part. That's coming down. I am going to go get um, Pearl Beach is all dry. Okay, there it is. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the whole thing, but it's so beautiful. 
beautiful. This is by far my one of my favorite favorites. Just love how it looks. And this right here is my favorite part. And that turned out to be kind of my focal point with the wave. Um, doesn't that look like one of those uh, man of war jellyfish that you see on the beach? Someone pointed that out to me and I said, oh my gosh, you're right. It does. I'm trying to get the whole thing in there so you guys can see it. Very happy with it. I haven't put a clear coat on it yet. It's still curing, but um, super happy, super happy with this one. Okay, that's probably had enough time to come down. I'll go ahead and go. Let's get going. Now this is not a gallery wrap, so I don't have to worry about a thick edge. All right, yay. A lot of blues, but I get my torch down. Not a lot happening, but I can tell it will once I get this torched. that a minute really big white spot there almost looks like a drip probably wind up pouring that off anyway it's so cute I know you guys can't see it as well as I can when they're really really tiny and you can still tell that they're ringed they're you just just you could just see it you know and um, I love that I love the little ring cells well, they're little now, but we're gonna try to get them to get bigger. I think I'm gonna do this torch a little bit more on this upper area, just a little bit more. my my daughter just got home from work oh my god oh my god this one's really nice I forgot to do my corners over here actually so that's okay I had these cups ready because I'm gonna have to deal with the corners and composition I'm gonna go this way first I'm gonna rock, but I'm gonna continually be going to the right. Now, I don't care if these lines are straight in the center or anything. Matter of fact, I don't want them to be straight. So, because waves in the ocean are not never straight. That would look less oceany. Really want to 
these cells on this left side to your right are gorgeous. I'm trying to hang on to some of those. Okay, come back. See a little bit of a caterpillar. Okay, so now that that paint is thinned out, I'm gonna to torch again because there's a lot of space, a lot, a lot of space, and that's very uneven. So I'm gonna see if I can do something about that. really had to force that. Um, I don't like normally getting my torch that close to the paint, but it wasn't coming until I actually just quickly touched it and, uh, and it brought it right up, as you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Bye. Bye, Isaac. Happy night. You too. Bye. With my daughter and her boyfriend, they are inseparable. I'm like, not even kidding. Every single day. Okay, so I, I didn't want straight lines and I wound up with straight lines. Come on, where's my wave? All right, let me just put it down and look at it. Ooh, I like it. I did get a little bit of a weird uh, kind of centipede uh, looking thing there and a couple more but really I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. It's, it's right in the middle too, you know? And I guess I could try to tilt. See, the thing is, and I'm gonna talk about this before I do it. These cells, because of my experience with this pouring medium, are strong enough to handle lots of stretching, okay? They really, really are. So, I don't like this, and there's plenty of cells on this side, right? Um, so even if I just went straight over and just got this thing and dumped it off, it's only going to make these cells probably bigger. So I'm thinking about doing that right now. And then I'm also thinking about trying to create some kind of a curve while I'm at it. So tilt that way and towards me the same, and then this will come hopefully into a more of a curve. So depending on where the weight of the paint is, that's what I'm gonna to try to do. Bring that curve in, down. And then we're gonna go, I, I know you guys can't see that well, but I'm just gonna go with it here. falling off the caterpillar. So it's gone enough to make me happy. Look how big the sills got. And I got a bit of a curve. I'm bringing back so those sills don't look quite so stretched out. And see if I can create a little more curve. Wow. 
yeah, those cells got bigger. But they're not too ungodly big. You know what I'm saying? I've had them that big and I don't know. They don't dry right. Oops. What am I doing? All right, guys, I'm just getting a little crazy with the tilting. Okay. Stop. Put it down. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's very, I'm, I got rid of that, half of it, to where, and there's still a little bit, but that's okay. It's not too horrible. I love it. This is really pretty. I'm going to um, change the angle and bring you guys down so you can see it as well as I can. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, everybody, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and go up. Starting at the, I don't know if this is going to be the bottom or the top. I have to look at it for a little while before I decide. Not as much white in these cells. So when these dry, these are not going to pop out quite as much as the uh, other cells. Right here, the cells get real large. Bit of a curve, that helps. Very, very pretty, very watery, very ocean-like. That's what my son wanted. These cells up here are really nice. Pretty big ones. If you look, my hand there, kind of see. Pretty big. Look, look at that. <laughs> These look really neat. Like one of those uh, sand dollars. Doesn't it kind of look like a sand dollar. All in all, very happy with it. Easy breezy. You know, blues are great. You never have to worry about the mixing into weird colors that you don't want. And uh, those are really, really nice. It's a tranquil, tranquil thing. And being in Florida, being around water and ocean, you know, these things are very popular. Anything ocean related. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. If you want to see more like this, subscribe or like my video if you do. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy pouring.